Well, Erin Holland is one very talented woman, crowned Miss World Australia in 2013. She's also starred on the small screen in The Secret Daughter. SAS Australia and hosts some of the world's biggest cricket events including the Indian Premier League and Seven's Summer of Cricket. Super busy. The TV presenter wed Australian all-rounder Ben Cutting in a romantic beachside ceremony. That was in 2021 and now she's jumped on board a brand new role away from the spotlight supporting vulnerable girls around the world. And Erin Holland joins us here in the studio. Hi, Erin. So lovely to see Good you. Good morning. That's so lovely to be back, guys. How well, are we? We are great. We're going to get to your new project in just a moment. But first, let's catch up on the home front. We hear you and Ben are proud new owners of a property. You've been doing it up. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little dream home mm -hmm. happening at the moment, I can tell you. We, we yeah. got a, a home in, in Hawthorne in Brisbane, which yeah. we're renovating at the moment through our property company, Golconda Property, which yeah. is something we've been doing for the last few years and something Ben's looking to transition into once he is done and hangs up the cricket bat for, for good. But, yeah, it's a beautiful home. It's Renovations, like old, though. Like Queenslander, Yeah, right? it's an beautiful. old Queenslander. She's got beautiful bones, but there's a lot that can be done. Painting the fence there. <laughs> we did that one, one morning. Ben just decided the sap that had dripped down from the beautiful trees was just too much for him so yeah he's Erin what's with all these smiles in the renovating aren't you arguing or any bickering as a renovating couple because that was my experience with my wife oh, we bickered relentlessly percent we can't agree on anything okay. I think I think that's just renovation 101 right and I'm like I want to go and dream home and he's like I value our marriage we are staying away from that on television <laughs> uh, speaking of your cricketer hubby Ben we, we found a clip of you interviewing him post match oh uh, it must be nice working in the same sporting arena together uh, he wouldn't say the same thing unfortunately because <laughs> I love cricket I've been an absolute nuffy mm. since I was you know five six years old my parents are really into it so when he actually has to talk to me about cricket it's great because I'm like, babe, how was your day? What's yeah. going on? What happened there? He's like, I don't want to talk about it. I need to step away. I need a break. But I, I love sort of deep diving his performances. And when I get the opportunity to actually do it and he has to answer me on live television, yeah, you're mine. He, yeah, he can't <laughs> plead the fifth there, can he? Yeah, I've got a lot of respect for self-confessed nuffies yeah. because I'm one for the demons. So for you to confess that, I really like that about yeah. you. Big summer of cricket ahead. What are you most looking forward to? Uh, women's Ashes are going to be awesome, I think. Mm. We love a good English-Australian rivalry and we've got that, which I get to actually host the entirety of, which I'm really excited about. Border Gavaskar Trophy, India are coming. It doesn't get any bigger than that in terms of, you know, the cricketing prowess these days. When India comes, it's a really big season. It's going to be hotly contested. So, yeah, so much. And then BBL, of course, WBBL. See? Nuffy. Huge <laughs> Nuffy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this uh, new role that you've got, and it's called A Thousand Voices for a Thousand Girls. It's a, it's a movement. What's it all about? So World Vision Australia, which and I think we all can remember those, a dollar a day or 40-hour famines growing sure. up, it, absolutely iconic it, it, charity that's doing incredible work with children all around the world. We know that women are the most vulnerable. Girls are the most vulnerable. So this Thousand Voices for a Thousand Girls looks to try and sponsor a thousand vulnerable girls all over the world before International Day of the Girl on the 11th of October. So in Australia, we have horrible issues with domestic violence here at the moment. One in four experience intimate partner violence or abuse within their lifetime. It goes to almost one in three internationally because you add those extra pressures of... Uh, child trafficking, um, poverty, you know, ch poverty, mm. child marriage, um, you know, tr fresh drinking water, food. It, you know, there's so many different factors that go into it. So, I think at a time where it can feel very overwhelming to not know how to help and, and what can be done for such a huge issue. Well Vision provides a really incredible pathway to be able to do that. Yeah. And child sponsorship is, I don't want to say easy because it isn't for what they do, but for us to make a, a, a you know, really wonderful difference in a child's see. life, it's 100%. incredible. And a really yeah. tangible difference too, um, which is what I love about it. You visited Sri Lanka to actually meet your sponsor child. I can see the big smile mm. on your face ahead of this because it's, was it just a goosebumps moment? Uh, it was so overwhelming and, you know, it, it was probably the most transformative experience of my life, I can say, because when, when you step into a community like that, when you're in a country that isn't as fortunate as a whole as Australia and, and you actually see the impact, and I think it's that word tangible you just said, Matt, it's, I actually saw the work that had been done. They'd been in that community for 16 years mm -hmm. and World Vision's presence was, was everywhere. It was all the desks in the school are sponsored by World Vision. The backpacks are sponsored by World Vision. The kids are so proud to say, 
I'm a sponsored child and yeah. to actually see where the money goes, I think the biggest roadblock can be sometimes where is it actually going? Is it getting where it needs to go? Well, I can say firsthand I've seen yeah. it goes where it needs to go. World Vision do amazing work. The project is called A Thousand Voices for a Thousand Girls Movement. Congratulations on making a difference, Erin. And lovely to catch up and good luck with that house reno as well. Oh, yeah. I wish me luck. <laughs> Thanks so much, Erin.